So like less than a millimeter, I have the perfect space for this VU meter there. It's like the universe wanted this dope VU meter in here. The hot rod mixer is getting a VU meter. I got this whole board all put together on some website for like 11 bucks or something. And there's a plastic lip in here. And then here's the edge of the Raspberry Pi case. This fits up against this lip and this little, just nestled in there, sorry, it's one-handed. It just clips in there like it was built for it. And when I put this Raspberry Pi computer in here, it was pretty arbitrary, I didn't measure this. And yet, to like less than a millimeter, I have the perfect space for this VU meter there. It's supernatural, like it's clicked in there and it's not budging uh, side to side. So I just gotta screw that in there and cut away this lip. There is a standoff on there and it's the perfect height for the way this lip goes up in there. So that goes up against the edge there and the copper is like right up against there. It's perfect. I'm just gonna Sharpie where that lines up and drill a hole and I'll be all done. Okay, I marked it with a Sharpie after holding it under there. That's what's great about working with a clear material is you can see where the thing is gonna go. And then I use this that I've been evangelizing. It's an automatic punch. You stick it exactly where you want, where you marked it, and you push this in until this thing uh, pokes a nice hole in the plastic. If you push it far enough, a little hammer will spring and make a better dent. These are also sold for cracking car windows to get out in an emergency, it's the same thing. But sometimes with plastic, you can't push it down hard enough and it still makes a nice dent. You might be asking why, the dent is there so the drill bit doesn't walk around. So again, I'm gonna have to countersink it. This screw doesn't make it all the way through the plastic enough. I'm just gonna take this drill bit that's the same width as the screw head and just by hand go halfway through this plastic, which is really thick. So if I go halfway, there'll still be a lot for strength and the screw will sink in nicely. End result. You can see it's pretty deep in there and that's about halfway and that should make it work and zoom down it's a pretty tiny little hole moment of truth it's gonna go in there so you can see it to line it up Ooh. see how flat the screw got so this is your first time being the the on the receiving end of this kind of political attack ads right uh, th I think that's accurate, and uh, the, the fact is, when I was running for president, no one saw me. Um, but I'm also confident that New Yorkers know we need something a bit different than we've been getting, uh, that we're in the midst of a crisis and we're going to need a different kind of leader to point the way out. Check. So you can see the VU meter is in, and working going to my voice this is the trim so how sensitive it is or not and this is uh if it's the left and right getting it or if i put these down it shows when i send to one channel let's see this channel check check or the other effects channel that's already up never mind check so that's one effects channel this is the other effects channel i have two effects channels so that can monitor them or just monitor the mains like this. Let me show you the different modes. If I open this up, there's a hidden button. This is the second mode. See, it has a little shoot up thing there. Uh, third mode, which is a center Knight Rider situation. Fourth mode is just a classic like needle move over situation. This is the fifth mode, it's like that, but with the trail. And sixth mode, it's just a trail upwards. See, it's gonna do it on its own. And then back to, uh, well, no uh, peak. See, it's just, just raw. Now, there's my favorite, the classic. Not just the regular classic, but the classic with the peak, like the uh, expensive crap hat, yeah. So I'll bring you in closer. Have a look. There we go. Check, check, 
Ch-h-h-h-heck, yes. So if you want more info on this theremin situation in this, check out some previous posts. All right, so final brag on it. It only took me two and a half hours from test to cut to install to put this meter in here, which is crazy because this whole rest of everything else in this mixer probably took 80 hours. I think I calculated it like between 80 and 100. Uh, I didn't also mention that there's another transposer in here too. This will transpose like I've, sh I've shown you before. It's like an auto-tune for keyboard. This one is doing the same thing with a more colorful interface because it's doing the transposing for the distance sensor uh, that is a theremin. So you can see the pink note is the live note right now. And I have it muted. So yeah, welcome to the Hot Rod Mixer 6.5.0.